Okay, um, let's jump into this. So, as you can see here, I already, um, I already created a whole bunch of groups here. And, uh, yeah, I found a little bit of an easier way of doing this. So basically the way I would approach it is I would start by creating a, um, a piece of geometry. Um, in my case, usually, usually I would start with a plane. And then if I'm jumping here, I'll just zero out the transforms. And the next thing I do is just like we said before, I would group it twice. So we have inner group again. And then this would be, let's say, I don't know, let's make it a bottom or something. That's going to be my bottom. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. And I'm, I'm going to operate on the actual geometry from the geometry level. And then, uh, and usually I get a one at the end because then it starts one, two, three, four. Makes more sense. Then I will uh, parent it. Uh, then I would reset the transform. So it basically puts it in position. Uh, what you'll notice is because I didn't shift its proportions uh, in uh, component mode, it didn't really, uh, it didn't really uh, keep those changes that I made because it was to the transfer node. So now I can move this button to place, so I can put it where it needs to be. Let's say I want my button over here. Now I will make the duplicates, so in this case, maybe I want to have like 20 of them, right? So I'll make 90, 19 copies, um, and then I'll do 360 divided by 20, it's going to be 18, so it's going to be here a value of 18. And in this case, I'm doing the rotating along the X axis. Yeah, so it'll be X, Y, and Z. So along this one, now 18 copies, and now we have this guy is ready to go, basically. Uh, these are instances. So we can do something like this. Maybe get rid of the back side. Maybe even um, get some sort of an offset here. Smooth. Scale and push into place. And then we can keep on working on this. Uh, maybe in case I don't love what I did here. So what I'll do is I'll use this guy to be a little bit more central. Scale him down. Duplicate. Scale this guy down. Smooth. Now I have something that's a little bit more representative. There we go. Maybe not like this. Something like that. So now I have a button that I can adjust. Uh, in the inner group, I can actually move my pivot point to where it needs to be. So, right into the center of the guy. Maybe even extend the pivot, and then I can scale it down from the center. And have a little bit more control like that over uh, the entirety of the topology inside of there. And that's basically the same way I made uh, whatever was going on here. Uh, as I mentioned before, if I'm going to create another cylinder and move into position and freeze and reset transforms, right? all I have to do is hold in D, set my transforms again, uh, and then modify bake pivot. And now I have my transform set. So all I'll have to do now is again parent my new uh, thing under this guy. And um, so if I'm creating a new object, all I'd have to do is uh, parent this guy under my new geometry, then um, 
We set transforms and then reposition. So in this case, maybe I want to move it like this. Then I can change certain things about it that I want to change. And then I should be able to do the duplicates again. But uh, I need to do it from the group level. I have to make sure that the actual group, you see here I moved everything on the group basis and I shouldn't do that, I should move it from the geo. So now I have the geo selected. Right? And now I can work from the group basis and you see now it's working like it should. So again if I go into my initial plane, I can scale them down, you see I have a lot of duplicates here. And I can make the necessary adjustments. So yeah, that's the basic gist of it all. Uh, I think a little bit more straightforward. And then we can get something relatively complex pretty fast. And again, you see I have some redundant uh, topology, by the way. If you want to get rid of redundant topology, you can just go Edge, Edge, and then Control, uh, right click, to edge ring, so now all of the edges in between them are selected, and then to edge loop. So it's like control, right click, to edge loop, to edge loop. I can get rid of all of that redundant topology, and you see now I have a nice clean topology here. And I can keep doing that. You see, and now I have nice clean topology. So, that's going to be it for now.